Yeah, hi everyone, welcome to Tia Podcast. I'm here with Faith again and today we're going to do a topic on breaking up and moving on. So fun! Yeah, so fun! <laughs> <laughs> so, but we're going to start with uh, some am I the assholes, okay? So, <laughs> Faith actually didn't know. Yeah, I didn't, didn't know, know about it yeah. until Celine told me about it. Okay, so <laughs> I, think, I think most people watching would know what it is. So basically, it's a Reddit thread and then People like to just post and ask like, am I the asshole for then they, oh, they do something? La, yeah. So okay. today we're going to do like some breakup ones. Okay, okay so I'm gonna fun. I'm going to read this story to you. Okay. The title is, am I the asshole for breaking up with my girlfriend after she rejected my proposal twice? So Sierra and I have been dating for four years. I absolutely love her and felt like she was my soulmate. I knew I wanted to propose two years into dating but decided to wait one more year so I could get into a better situation financially. Last year, I proposed. It was a private proposal on a beach where we went on our first date. Wait, that sounds so nice. (laughs) Yeah. I would have said yes. (laughs) (laughs) She looked at me and said, I want to marry you, but not right now. She said she wasn't in the right space personally to get engaged and to give her some time. That's done, but I was okay with it. After all, I put off proposing so I can be in a good position, so it's only fair that I give her that chance. Mm. It's been a year since then I decided to propose again. This time, I asked our friends to help me set it up because I wanted to do something nicer. We orchestrated a nice dinner and a proposal in front of a nice fountain in the city's botanical garden. Everything was ready, dinner went great and we went to the fountain. She saw the rollers and everything and then I got down on one knee and asked her to marry me. She teared up and told me, not just yet. That stung really bad. Wait bro, then she teared up for what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I, she, so the person, OP said, I knew I wanted her in my life forever but this was the second time she turned yeah. me down. I asked her why and she told me the same thing as last year. I asked her if someone was holding her back, maybe family or friend, and she just said, I want to make sure that this will all work. So this hurt me more than the two rejections. And I told mm. her after four years, if she isn't sure, then what mm. What the hell will make her sure? Mm. She asked me to give her time and I told her no. I told her I'm not going to keep wasting my time and love if she's going to keep saying no. I told her that I can't do this anymore. She began begging me not to leave and said, fine, I'll marry you. P- just please don't go. This made me mad. I didn't say anything and left. My phone has been blowing up with some of our friends, her parents, and her telling me that I'm an asshole for throwing away a four-year relationship because she said no, and that I was being a big baby. She just needs some time. The other half of our friends aren't on my side, but they're not on hers either. I don't think I'm an asshole for this. Did I overreact? Am I an asshole? If so, how much more time am I supposed to give her? So the Mm. edit says we're both 29 years old. Mm. I think the age thing is also quite important Mm, mm. in considering all of this. It's quite interesting. I think this one cause it's quite wow. split. Yeah, 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 yeah. There are some cases that I read they're very clearly that one person is it's just like nonsense. But okay, this one okay. is actually quite uh yeah. interesting. Actually I have a question because I'm like okay, the first time that he proposed, it seemed like it came as a shock to the girl. Mm. So I'm like, wait, do y'all not talk about okay, plans so- of like getting married before this? Good That's question Because question. in edit 3 He said that We had discussed marriage Shortly before okay. I proposed The first time She was okay. into it And even told me That she couldn't see herself With anyone else She seemed okay, eager okay. About the idea of marriage Which is why I was shocked The first time And angry the second time Right No yeah Then that Yeah That's kind of strange Yeah Cause I would think That um, If you have Spoken about marriage And plus like Both are eager And on the same page About yes we want to get married Then why wouldn't you accept the proposal? Like, why wouldn't the girl yeah. accept the proposal? Plus, like, okay, fine, like, maybe the first time, maybe they really didn't talk about it or whatever. Yeah. But then the second time, by why? then you would have. And I mean, you would have known. They already did for four years. Correct, correct. Yeah. And she would have known his intentions to marry her already because, like, like, he already proposed mm. once. Would you say that in this case, the girl is the asshole then? Would you think it's wrong that she's the one who's been rejecting? Kind of. Okay, oh. that's my opinion. As in, just cause like, if you Leading. give off the mm. yeah, if, if you give off the idea that you actually do want to get married to him, but then you, in the end, reject him. Yeah. Again, it's a bit like, huh? Yeah, I mean, reasons I can think of for like wanting to delay marriage, maybe you just actually, I feel like. Doesn't mean once you get engaged, you like must get married mm, mm, that's true. Immediately, immediately also, right? Mm. So, I mean, if you just want to get married at a later age for whatever reasons, it's still okay to accept the proposal unless you are really not sure. Of yeah, the I think yeah, she's not being honest. And also, like, mm. if actually I don't understand some people, right? 
if you don't want, then say. Just say, yeah. What's your problem? Don't give off yeah. the wrong impression also. Yeah. Plus, it's I, a very big deal, like marriage, right? Yeah. Because I, <laughs> I feel like I can understand why people would feel a bit um, scared to assume. Yeah, yeah. Understand the but, so, yeah. Then, just say. Just say, yeah. yeah so, I think it's okay to be honest to say, like, I'm scared or, like, I'm still not sure. Even though I also feel like if by then you have been dating for like six years, by then it will have been yeah, six years. Yeah, you have been dating for so long already. You still not sure. Kinda then. know, mm. and I think also like you will never be hundred fully sure. Mm. Like, but there's that general sensing that this is the right direction. And yeah. if you have been in a relationship for so long already, and it's not going to go anywhere, it's a bit like huh. So and okay, you're like, so this case break yeah. up and move on. <laughs> yes, I, I would get, say. I get I the point say. that yeah, why he would be like, I'm not going to waste my time mm. and my love on someone who may not actually yeah she's see a definitely future hi- I feel like in this story yeah. if he's telling like the complete truth she's definitely hiding something yeah. she's definitely I think that there might be yeah. some so right <laughs> again to like some conspiracy theory, theory. <laughs> no, no, not conspiracy theory this is just some juicy tea that okay, okay, okay. so okay I think the nature of where we work right mm. uh, I think people are generally because we work in Christian organization mm. people are I wouldn't say generalized but People are in our office, they are quite like very family, family focused. Mm. I did not realize how many, how rampant affairs are mm. in other companies. Okay, mm-hmm. so I've been hearing all kinds of juicy <laughs> stuff from my colleagues. Oh so, my goodness. About this, about this. So, okay. I think last time we talked about this like whole idea of like BTO for, for people who yeah. don't know what it is, the Singapore like housing system, right? So, so one of my friends from, uh. from one of these uh, companies, he was telling me, so this guy and this girl... It, he they already this guy from his office he already BTO with his girlfriend okay. so in the process really left one year to get their house okay. haven't proposed and he started going out with a colleague every night to dinner lunch also lunch also only two, two, two of, of them, them. So right, I, I, that's why I think when, yeah. when you say these start things right, like six years you together, can you imagine you left one year to get your BTO yeah, and then you're still and wondering, okay, in this case it's a yeah. girl, like, if your boyfriend like one year into getting your yeah, BTO, yeah. then he still don't want to propose, right? Yeah. I think really very sus, really. Yeah, really yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Say something, something off. It's definitely <laughs> something wrong. But oh then like, okay. yeah, it's, it's just wasted. Yeah. It's just wasted yeah. because can you imagine at that point, right, how much money you have put in? Yeah. And will you then break up? Oh, that's yeah. a good question. Would you then... If you how, how, a, how, yeah, what are you a, going to do? For the next one. This is about um, cheating, taking revenge. So this is the okay. breaking up and moving on part, okay? So okay. I took revenge on a cheating ex and I went overboard. Ooh. So recently I found out that my ex had a flirtatious relationship at work with one of her managers at the restaurant she works at. This involved sexual dirty talking while on shift, sexual compliments and photo sharing and plans to hang out. I found out and told her not to text the other guy again and block him. So this guy quite generous. Didn't even break up at the start. Okay. Mm. Well, something told me to check her phone again. And it di- mm. didn't take less a full day for her to respond back to his text or iMessages thus continuing contact of cheating on me. The worst is how she described getting caught by me to be hilarious, funny, and that she'll reach out to this guy once we're done. She made me sound like a doormat, a joke, an option. Yeah, man. As if everything we had was a plaything for her to play yeah. with. Feeling emasculated, embarrassed, and surprised, she could, uh, surprised that she could ever talk to me like this to another man. I posted mm. her incriminating screenshots to her social media feed, Instagram and Snapchat stories, since I had access to these accounts, and sent those screenshots to the guy she was cheating on me with and her boss at work, since she, since she was doing it with another manager at this restaurant. I also sent them to her mother as they were, text- <laughs> as she was texting this guy the whole week. I was helping her mother move to her new home. This guy responded immediately and her boss and mother has yet to respond. She later called me back to apologize about the ordeal but the damage was already done and I broke the news to her about what I did and to screw her. I think I went overboard as this is something I've never done. Mm. Take revenge on somebody by screwing them over. Mm. Have you ever been cheated on actually? If never... No. Okay, I don't think that I have either. <laughs> so it's very hard for me to, to say. Yeah, but to I agree. actually feel that Given my personality in mm. the past, right, if I had been cheated on, I would find it very difficult to let go. Mm. I would yeah, really okay. bite yeah. and bite yeah. until like I find something to like take revenge. Yeah. Even everybody say like take the high road. I just I don't <laughs> think I can. Like I really no way. It's okay. I will just do whatever I want. Wow. No, but I mean, 
Okay, I mean, I also feel like I may not fully understand because, you know, I've never been in that place, mm. thankfully, of like being cheated on. But I think it's, a, it's just a very reactionary... And everything that he did was very reactionary. It's not the, okay, I'm going to sit and think... Not ma- malicious. Not, yeah, I it was... Say, not super, like, malicious. I mean, I don't... Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't think, like, he... I mean, I'm sure he felt very... Ang- like, it was, I think it was the anger that really, like, drove him. And I think before that, he also did say that um, the way that she talked to that other guy mm. about him really makes him feel like just, I'm being used. I'm just a yeah. dumb man. She's just walking over me, which... It's very humiliating. Yeah. And then, like, as if being cheated on is it's not, not humiliating enough. enough. Yeah. So I can understand that it's, it is... As in, yeah, his feelings are very like, intense. La. When we read this type, it's kind of like, oh, okay, I get, get why you yeah. do it. On a very human level. Yeah. I'm not saying that it's right. Yeah, but no, whether it's right or wrong is a different mm. thing. And I think, like, he also... It sounds like he does regret it a bit because he's like... The fact that he can say <laughs> that like, he's overboard. I think I went overboard. Yeah. I think, like... On hindsight, he's like, okay, what did I just do? Like, mm, mm, mm. yeah. So I think it's the yeah. emotions that really drove him to do what he did. Okay, so yeah. let's talk about let's talk get get straight into the topic of um breaking up and okay. moving on. So both of us have experienced Bro- breaking up, right? Yeah. <laughs> Broken up, having having broken up and having moved on. <laughs> mm. So I heard this thing right that. Girls, by the time that you reach the stage that you want to break up, mm. or you say that you want to break mm. up, you have kind of like already broken up in your mind a few months ago, and then you have already moved on by mm. yourself. So by the time you say it out of your mouth, you're kind of like, yes, it is what it is. <laughs> Rather than True. like being blindsided. Sometimes people say like the girls usually like will leave the guys very blindsided because you're saying like, mm. oh, like that. And then there's nothing yeah. that they can do at that point to yeah. try and like change the situation yeah. because in your mind, you already, you already broke up with for- them like one yeah, year yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, I think it's true for my case. Mm. And like, I think on high side, I also feel like, like maybe it was a bit, it came off as a shock to my ex when I suggested not suggested when I said that I wanted to break up yeah cause I think for me it's like okay so the timeline was like uh, we were together for one and a half years but like I think one year plus into the relationship I already felt like no mm, this was not it for me <laughs> like like no way I, yeah. I couldn't and I think so in January of like 2020 I already had thoughts of like breaking up but I never really act on them like, I mean it's just like a, okay you know like if it's just another difficult you know like mm. patch or rough patch that you have to go through then like like god please help us you know that kind of thing <laughs> yeah. um, but then I think when but two three months later during circuit breaker I mean it was our like lockdown right in Singapore yeah. um, when I was when we were away from each other I already I think I started to really think about the things that wasn't really sitting right with me in the relationship. Mm-hmm. So by then, like, I was really like, actually, I really want to break up already. Oh. Yeah, so I think, probably, I don't, I don't can't remember when lockdown was, maybe like, March, April, mm-hmm. for like, a month plus. So by then, I was kind of already like, you're, you're I already already over sort of not in the relationship anymore. <laughs> also because, I mean, the context was also different, right? Like, we were apart, yeah. physically. And then, I mean, we were still, like, By text law, and yes. call <laughs> and... Or, like, send each other stuff. But in your mind, you broke up. But and then <laughs> went through the grieving <laughs> and <laughs> Yeah. Really, actually, I think, like, I cried quite a bit in during circuit breaker because I think I was... By then, I was really very tired of, like, the relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... I think it was not, say, very difficult for me to, like, want to let it go lah because by yeah. then I was really very tired and I, was, I felt happy like just being you know like yeah. doing my own thing at <laughs> home whatever right yeah so when I initiated the breakup after lockdown he was like where did that come from mm. yeah but then to me it's like actually there were already so many like not maybe not really telltale signs but like we were fighting a lot like the months leading up mm. to to the to the breakup right yeah. But yeah, I mean, maybe in his head, it's just like, you know, we will like get through it. Uh, like it's normal. Whatever, like. it's like it's normal. But it wasn't like, I think to fight that much. 
And to be fighting about the same thing over and over again is like a bit tiring. <laughs> like it's a bit tiring. Yeah. I mean there were other factors that made me feel like yeah, like maybe she's really not it. Yeah. So yeah, so I think I really like blindsided oh. him completely. Which, like I can understand why he felt so he felt very hurt lah when mm. I suggested the breakup. Yeah, so so I don't know, it's like could I have made it more obvious? Like I already tried to like oh don't reply him so much. You just tried to ghost him? No, I didn't. It's just I mean face him out of your life. I think like by then I had a, I didn't really have much to share with him anymore because all the things that I was processing and thinking about and like my struggles at that point in time was with regards to him. <laughs> <laughs> so so it's a bit like, I can't really tell you that yeah. like right now. Although like we did have one conversation, I think because he sensed that something was a bit off. Mm. Yeah, so I said like, oh, I'm just processing some stuff in regards to the relationship. Yeah, so I think he kind of already knew. Mm. I think he thought that, okay, once I thought through it, I'll You'll be, be okay, fine. Yeah. yeah, but I... Okay, I was fine, but not in the way that he, he had was, expected. Yeah. La. So, I mean, by the time we broke up, I just felt so happy. <laughs> you have, she has no yeah. tips for moving like, on. <laughs> she just straight away moved no, 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 for sure, for sure. Like, I think in terms of like the... Memories less. Yeah, so I think moving on is not just the like, oh, after breaking up, then like, oh, my heart is broken, that kind mm. of thing. But I think it's a lot of, yeah, I mean like the memories, having to adjust to like being alone. I mean like, to no longer have like yeah. a partner, right? Obviously, like, I think in the relationship, cause okay, my relationship was my past relationship was quite toxic. So I think like my perceptions of relationships got very warped after okay. after after that lah. So I was just like, huh, I don't see why like be, being in a relationship is good or like mm. having or like being married is good because for me, like in my own experience, being in a relationship only caused me more pain. Ah, uh, okay. You know things like that. On, and like obviously like perceptions of like guys you know that kind of thing yeah recent revelation I think the idea of like um compromise in relationships like to me it's like huh I I think also in my experience I felt like I compromised a lot but at the at at the expense of my moral values okay yeah, yeah which shouldn't be the case like mm-hmm. yeah so in my head suddenly like compromise became a very bad thing even though it's supposed to be, yeah. like, helpful for our relationships, right? Yeah, so I'm like, okay, I need to, like, unlearn all these, like, bad... Not, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Bad stuff that build up. Do you throw away, like, gifts and cards that Oh, yeah, gave? I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> and he returned me, like... So, on our first anniversary, like, I made him this, like, scrapbook or whatever. Uh-huh. He oh, returned that's it such to... a first love thing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so he returned it to me. <laughs> Obviously, I just threw away lah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, why you yeah. bother? <laughs> yeah, no, but then I kept some things because they were very practical. Oh, okay. Like, my earphones that I still use now. Like, it's been three years after the breakup, but I'm still using... It still works using, uh. This Jabra, like, <laughs> earphones, like, in-ear, like, very <laughs> noise cancellation type. So, and it was not cheap. Mm. So, I kept it. My Logitech keyboard. Huh? The one you use your phone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From him also. Okay. Actually, they mostly just these two things. I mean, because it's like yeah. very practical and like... Okay, for a while, I didn't want to use the earphone, so I mm. used my own uh, AirPods, but then they spoiled, so I had no choice. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. For me, my first breakup was quite bad. Like, my first mm. boyfriend... Uh, I think because I was quite young at that time, mm. I think I was like 15, I was with him when I was like start of sec 2 mm. so end of sec 3 then we so about up. 2 years almost yeah uh, and then I was devastated I was so 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 sad I mean as a 15 year old like yeah yeah I like think I emotions really back then even with or without boyfriend is like <laughs> already high. crazy <laughs> enough right I really thought I was going to marry him you know I thought we were going to be together forever Ever. <laughs> because okay yeah. that's not like my requirement for men are very low so, mm. um, even back then, I wanted a Christian boy, mm. and he's a Christian boy. Mm. And another thing is, I just wanted someone who's tall, mm. and he's very tall. <laughs> okay. Like, like, like 180 something wow, tall. Wow, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's really quite tall. So, yeah. that was like, he just filled my two requirements for <laughs> like, being okay. my husband. Really. That was enough. <laughs> we can get married now. <laughs> yeah. But throughout the relationship, we did fight a lot. But, but mm. even towards the end, I was very sad. Then I cried until like, I vomited. <laughs> 
Yeah, I was I was that upset. <gasps> oh my god. I was so so upset. And then after that, the thing is, so after about six months, we got back together. Uh. Then in about another six months, so the end of sec four, uh. then we broke up again. Ah uh, okay. Okay, so the first time we broke up, we always argue about the same thing. I think at the th- last time I said it was because extrovert and introvert. Mm. Like, he mm. liked to stay at home play computer game. I like to go out. Mm. And he so every time he doesn't go out with me, mm. I feel like why well, I don't like to spend time. Yeah, okay, yeah, la, yeah, but yeah. The thing is, he also like to go out with. He like to spend time with his friends. Right. Also. Yeah. And at that time. It just made me feel so shitty. No, I can see how that would come off the wrong way yeah. for you. Yeah. But, I mean, if I look at it at, it at my age now, it's like, okay lah, I mean, we mm. were 14 years old at that time. Yeah. You want to hang out with your friends, like, and then for me, it's like, I ha- I, I hang out with my friends, I have the capacity to hang out with my friends and my and boyfriend you at the also, same time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, because, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, with my yeah. friends all the time. So, yeah. I, I, so and you don't understand, understand how, so yeah. My breakup was so, so, so sad. Then six months later, right? So, so we get back together. Six months later, he was doing the same shit again. Oh, then you're like, okay, I'm done with this shit. Yeah, then by the time, <laughs> right, I, I didn't cry already. I was, yeah. I was okay already. You're just like, bye. It was very funny. Because the first time we broke up, I actually got a, like a rebound. Uh, it was quite a bad, really. Okay, it was okay, quite, okay. It was quite bad. Because this guy at that time, he, he liked to make fun of me. He mm. said a lot of mean things okay, okay. to me. Because I think it was like a rebound, and I yeah. think about it, I just want to die. Well, it was so yeah. disgusting, but right now that now that I'm married, and hopefully we'll not get divorced. But uh, my husband has heard this story many times that if I break up with someone, right, mm. I will try and make them angry. One, I am that type. <laughs> I am part of the revengeful and my the asshole kind. So what I used to do, right, is like because. I know like the timing that he I know where he uh, will be at what time because uh, like CCA or what then yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like my friends will tell me ma yeah. so it's like I know what time yeah. he will be where yeah. then I will just magically show up at that place with like someone else and I will purposely try to make them jealous it's like my specialty thing to do one. Like, I love to do that last time and I'm very free so I will do yeah. one <laughs> after all levels you know after all yeah. levels oh, like yes. this <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Yeah, okay, but, but, okay, but okay. I really was. So, yeah, yeah. to me back then, yeah, that was how natural, I moved I feel, on. Yeah, it's very, I feel like it's very natural. Yeah, because yeah. then after when they come like, when they come crawling back, then you feel, you actually, you're like, oh. yeah, you really feel very <laughs> happy. You really feel very like, <laughs> <laughs> like slay. <laughs> I'm a queen. <laughs> right, right. I mean, it's so childish to think about, but it's like, mm. it's so true. And I think even a lot of adults do, do the same mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. No, actually, I think, like, this whole idea of, like, exacting revenge on, like, an ex, right? Yeah. I mean, sometimes it doesn't come off so, like, strongly, like, I don't know, you could do something to them. And not or something whatever. that's too evil. I'll never stab yeah, them with a knife. It's just, la. like, it's just them stupid, like, just wanting to show that my life is happy without you. Oh, oh you posting on Instagram stories. Yeah, like, look at how slave my life is right now. Look at me with all my friends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me having fun, yeah, and yeah. don't need you, you know, like kind of thing. Like, it's damn stupid, lah. Yeah, yeah but it, it's, so, it's so stupid. But at that time, you just feel so pathetic, yeah. No, but I feel like it's just part of the process, of, of it's like, part of breaking yeah, up. Right, right, right. I, th- I really think it is, it is. Even my friend also, like, yeah, like recently told me this, like, um. Yeah, sometimes when I dress until like damn nicely and go out, right, I hope I bump into him and then like make, yeah, him, yeah, yeah. Yeah, make him feel like, oh, you lost me. Like, With I'm so beautiful. Girl, yeah. Like, yeah. Look at me like, compared to it's really that funny. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So do you have any like good tips for breaking up? It doesn't have to be proper tips. It doesn't have to be legit Breaking tips. up. You know, I always see that people say like, mm. oh, after you break up, then like, just rely on God or something like that. Mm. It's like, it's fun to hear la, but <laughs> it's hard. La. Like, practically can be yeah. difficult. Yeah. Yeah. But I think surrounding yourself with people you know and trust loves you very much. Like, that helps law. Because at least you, you are reminded that, yes, I'm still loved. And yeah. like, I still have people in my life like I still have important people in my life it's not like oh now that I don't have my boyfriend anymore then there's like yeah, no I think that that's why it's important that even when you're in a relationship to yes. always make sure you make time for your friends dude community I think is really so important do you have friends yeah. that drop off the face of the earth when they are in relationships uh, I have friends that drop off the face of their earth when they are in relationships I'm pretty sure I have yeah it just doesn't really come 
straight to mine. I, yeah. I confirm have, and then after that, yeah. I'll be like, bruh, can yeah. you like, <laughs> answer your phone? <laughs> but yeah. I, I, I really feel like, it's very, it's very cheesy advice like to surround yourself with friends, but it's so important. But it's very important. It's, so, yeah. it's, so impo- it's not just yeah. a, like, it's the thing cliche, is, even if you right? don't break up, even yeah, if you don't break yeah. up, right, I find you still can find yourself yeah. very isolated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct, as yeah, a yeah. couple. Because yeah, you're like, like, oh, hey, it's just two of us. Yeah. Do our own things, our own world. You want to play yeah. mahjong? So you're like, hey, I actually got nobody in my contact yeah. list to call. Yeah. It, it's really very, it's yeah. really very sad. Yeah. But I, I would say, right, so f- even if you're friends, your friends can get quite tired of hearing you rant. So you, I, the advice is don't rant at, to a group. You rant in the <laughs> <laughs> So you rant to different yeah. people. Different hey, it does take actually a yeah, few times yeah. for you to say to get yeah, it out of your sister. Especially yeah. if that person um did so, did you wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're very angry. Yeah. You will keep saying and keep saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as to not tire out your friends, you no, tell everybody. Sure, yeah. yeah, you tell yeah, one by true. one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't say in a group chat. <laughs> yeah. You keep em- <laughs> meet them for coffee. Yeah. And then you're like, hey, you like it works, out, you know. Yeah. It works. I mean, as much really as helps, yeah. as much as you 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 don't want to like harp on it. Sometimes you if you say enough, you get very sick of hearing yourself yeah. say it also. Yeah. And that's when you are like, oh, okay, actually, that's enough. I feel mm-hmm. like that's enough. I've gotten it out. Hmm. Time to move on. Do whatever I need. Yeah, yeah. So yes, yeah. friends very important. And I think like, I mean, I think for me like, what works is like just journaling law. Yeah, I mean that works for me not just for like breaking up, but just in general when I'm processing different like difficult feelings or thoughts, it just helps me clear my mind a bit and yeah, get to the core of what I really what what I'm really upset about or what I'm really like yeah struggling with. Mm. Yeah, and it's like I think be patient with yourself because I really think it's not linear like the grief process. Yeah, there are days where I... I mean, obviously now, like, I'm in, like, a way, way, way better place than I was, like, three years ago, right? But I think there are still new, like, revelations about, like, relationships that I wrongly learned from my past relationship that I feel like, okay, it's something I just need to be more aware of so that I don't carry, like, unhealthy... Or don't carry too many, like, unhealthy thoughts about it into... But do you still feel sad? No. Okay. Yeah. Like when you say be patient with yourself, right? Mm. I still think that that you need to whatever is considered a reasonable time because past this reasonable mm. time, you really need to go and see your counselor mm. or something. Because I think it's important. Actually, you know, yeah, correct, correct. So I know this person um long long ago, but at that time, this person was already thirty something, either thirty one mm. or thirty two. And the thing, right, when I met this group. The first time I met them, she was actually complaining about her... She was actually talking about how sad she was that her parents got divorced. Mm. And how disappointed she was that her father had left the family. Mm. So, she's 32, 30, 30, mm. 31, 32. So, I, I kind of asked, I said like... Actually, when did this happen? Yeah. And she said, it happened when she was 8. Oh. Yeah, yeah and, and like... it really shocked me because it's not... It's not, it's not funny, but like, it, it's... At that point, it's really like Mm-mm. to be so upset about like, something that so, happened so many years sounds ago. Sounds very fresh yeah. when she said it. Yeah. Like, like, I'm sure there will still be that kind of like hurts yeah, yeah. or like your own perceptions of like dads or like men because of your past experience. But then if at 30 something you're saying it like it's very fresh, like it just happened like she two years ago. Curing, you know? <laughs> means like it's a lot of unresolved mm-hmm. law, yeah unresolved but la. yeah that's why yeah. so after a while we really need to see whether it is something worth like finding a, a therapist mm. over and also you do find a lot of people who if you find yourself breaking up right and being heartbroken over the same type of guy right it's also mm. I think when you say journaling it's to notice also pattern yeah 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 it's true I have also friends, right? I got a lot of friends. I got a lot of friends with very wild well people. But it's, <laughs> no, it's really to notice, like, if you find yourself, like, breaking up over the over the same type of people. Yeah. It's like, yeah. why? Yeah, also. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's just very interesting. You know, for <laughs> me, right, I actually never throw away any gift or any uh. card that I, I have gotten. Uh. Because it made me feel very happy to read it afterwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know Why? Well, because he's saying all the good things about you Then you're yeah, like, then I'm wow, like, I'm such an amazing person Yeah, yeah legit I'm like, 
Well, <laughs> that's quite funny. That's your that's loss. Funny. That's hey, but okay, this doesn't work for everyone because yeah, yeah, we, yeah. There, there, there's this yeah, another person. So there was one day this person, she very funny, she went and dig up all her old memories uh. and then she started to cry and I was like, what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay. Yeah, yeah. I was like, just throw it away, yeah, if bro. It makes you, if it makes you sad, then If it makes yeah. you sad, it's time to throw it away. Yeah, correct. Okay, yeah. La, but I think it depends. I think it really depends on your coping mechanism. I think la. because for, for me, I never regret how I right. dealt with okay. it and that it ended. Yeah, okay. Fair. But I feel like there are some people if you you you, you are the one in the wrong. Mm, then you, you will feel look back yeah. and then feel all these other things. But you know, yeah. it's important to forgive yourself also. Forgive yeah. yourself, look back at yourself and tell yeah. yourself, oh, I'm a changed person. No, another thing. Oh wait, I got so many You got so many things. Things. No, because okay, so the second time I broke up, right? I, I, I make this very, very, very bad mistake of agreeing to remain friends. And uh, that was very bad. Uh, because when you break up, right? And then you don't, don't cut it very clean, right? Mm. You end up cannot move on. It's a bit, yeah, You cannot yeah, yeah. move on. Then you're like, oh, because you can't forget how it is like to be friends with yeah, this person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really. So that is my... That one, yeah. Don't be friends with your ex so soon, and it's yeah, so soon. Yeah. Actually, I'm not friends with my ex, any of my exes. So mm, it's kind of weird. Mm. I, I find... I find yeah. Yeah, I yeah. find it very... I don't know how people can still be friends with their ex, but I've seen people who have done it, and then now they're like married to like separate people. Like, I don't know... Do they like invite yeah. each other to weddings? No, that's why it's... That's weird. Yes. <laughs> Which is quite funny. Yeah. But okay, I mean, whatever works for them, but it's a very rare case. But, yeah, but I think you still need that breathing space and time to sure, get yeah. over it first. Yeah, because yeah. I went like straight into like trying yeah, to be no, friends and it difficult. just, it just yeah. never works. It's Correct. just messy. Yeah. And what else was I was about to say? Oh yeah, just keep reminding yourself of what a terrible person that is. Even right, even if you're the one who did the wrong thing. But it's just for you to move on. After yeah, you get yeah. over it, I find that after you mm. get over it, right, and then you want to remember, yeah, actually, you think of your objective, actually, yeah, this yeah, person it's not, wasn't yeah, yeah, so bad. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. if you keep harping on that, right, you will yeah. never move on. Yeah, You're yeah, just I thinking think, what yeah. a loss it is. Okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, and with okay. that, we will end this episode. Give your advice. <laughs> okay, we'll see you next time. Bye!